Carbs make you fat. Fat makes you fat. You can't eat after 5 p.m. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I disagree. Welcome everyone, I'm Dr. Sam Spinelli, physical therapist and strength conditioning coach with Sisson Athletics. I just spent the last 30 days eating cake every single day. I also baked most of those cakes, which you'll see footage of in a minute. And along that time, I lost weight. That might blow some people's minds, but if you've been around in the more evidence-based nutrition circles, you'd understand that it's completely possible. A lot of people are commonly told information like, carbs will make you fat. You have to go keto or you're screwed. You can't eat fat, which is kind of contrary to keto, but you know, a lot of people say that you can't. You can't eat after 5 p.m. There's so much misinformation out there on nutrition and it can be really hard to figure out what you should do. I've made two previous videos kind of discussing sustainable nutrition, which I'll link down below. In the first video, I went through 30 days where I lost weight by focusing on just basic habits of things consisting of walking, sleeping, eating more vegetables, uh, managing my protein intake, and exercising. And that's, that's it. I focused on those five major things. And along that time, I lost just about nine pounds. Then after that, I made a second video where I followed that out up to 90 days to demonstrate that if you continue with those basic principles, you can sustain that weight loss. You can have a sustainable journey where you actually lose weight and keep it off, which is a challenge for many people in this common time where there's so much information out there about how you should diet and people usually struggle because of it. From those videos, people commented, well, you know, you talked about eating vegetables and you talked about eating protein. What if I wanna have a treat? What if I wanna have dessert? I can't fit that in, that doesn't align with those things. Or I had contrary individuals who said, well, no, you need to only do this style of diet. This is the right diet to do, such as keto, which is a very popular one at this current time. For this video, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to show that you could actually go and eat carbs, eat fat, fit it into your calories appropriately. So essentially following something along the lines of if it fits your macros, but with an approach where you prioritize things like vegetable intake still, you still prioritize protein, all those major habits, but you can fit in the things that you wanna enjoy. This could apply whether you wanna have beer, wine. We can see my starting physique. I'm relatively lean, relatively muscular. It's a physique that I'm quite proud of and happy with. I don't feel like I need to lose weight. I don't feel like I need to add a bunch more muscle. I'm quite happy with where I am at. But to demonstrate the principles here, I wanted to undergo eating cake every single day for 30 days. And this wasn't gonna be, you know, a tiny sliver of cake. This wasn't gonna be quote unquote healthy cake or low calorie cake, anything like that. I wanted to eat legitimate cake that was gonna be something hopefully people would enjoy. So I decided that I would actually bake the cakes and have contests along the way of people giving me feedback on how they were. I love it. <laughs> it's the most amazing chocolate body cake ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heard the recipe? Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna make it a 9.75. Just to have an extra additive of fun to the challenge. And then through that time, I wanted to lose some weight. Just to demonstrate that you can do that. Now the first thing that I'm gonna say, and we can see my ending physique now, I did lose some weight. I didn't lose a substantial amount, I lost one pound, in which I know, nothing that crazy. But I actually lost that one pound in the first two weeks. And then in the last half of the month, my life got pretty stressful and a lot of challenges came along the way. My one dog is very sick and there's discussions of some sad things with her. And then my other dog just got hospitalized, which was very stressful, and I'm actually getting to go pick him up tonight. <sighs> my washing machine broke, family issues, all sorts of things that started to progressively make extremely stressful times for me. So I didn't end up losing more weight in the last period, but I didn't gain weight, which I think is personally a big testament to the ability to manipulate calories in your favor while still enjoying these things. Through this time, I maintained the other habits. I ate a lot of vegetables. I slept pretty close to eight hours most time. I maintained my activity levels throughout the day. 
generally being somewhere between eight and 10,000 steps. I also really prioritize my protein throughout the journey and I exercise regularly. I, on average, am doing workouts about five times per week, though on that third week of the month, it actually dropped down a little bit just because I was very stressed out, had a deload, and I just didn't honestly really care about training that much. Now, I highlight a lot of those points because I wanted to bring up something that is commonly discussed and that, you know, in ideal circumstances, you can lose weight or in ideal circumstances, you can maintain weight when lean. And that it's when you have unideal situations, so challenging times, etc., that's when people gain weight. And that's very understandable, but it doesn't have to be that way. I will admit that during the second half of the month, it was more challenging and I had to be more active in my approach and my mental fortitude in choosing the things that I did. But it is still something that's feasible, especially if you choose certain things like I did in that first video, emphasizing my vegetable intake, emphasizing my activity level. These small little details that while it can be challenging in the moment, it layers on it and it builds to be more sustainable across the long term. Everybody has a starting point and it's about something that you can consistently do very well and then start to slowly layer it on. Most individuals start to have that struggle when they make a big jump and they just feel overwhelmed, they can't do it, and so they take an even bigger jump back. And now they're even worse off than where they started. So if you can find a good point to start with, you're gonna be way better off. Now, instead of just repeating myself from the two prior videos, I'm gonna link them down below and you can check them out. They're videos that are gonna be really helpful for a lot of people. And I hope that you check them out so that you can learn a few details on getting some sustainable weight loss if that's what you're looking for. Now, I'm gonna put up tons of my baking footage. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you wanna see more of it, my wife started a special Instagram channel called Spinelli Baker Boy that you can check out. I'm gonna keep baking. I think it's pretty fun, actually. I'm gonna to try to continue using my platforms to show that you can have a sustainable weight loss journey, keep it off, and that it doesn't have to be this horribly challenging time. Now, if you have questions, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, put them down in the comments. I'll likely make more videos like this in the future, trying to expand on and show more ways that you can actually do this practically. I'll, if you guys are interested in seeing some baking videos or recipe videos, anything that you think would be really helpful to you, let me know and I will try my best to put it out there for you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you can, leave a like down below. It really helps us out a lot. And we'll see you in the next video. The cake that we're gonna start off the series with is gonna be a lemon cake with fruit. So it's a sort of tart. Never had it, never made it. Hopefully it turns out good. All right, it's day three of 30 and we're on to cake number two. We're gonna change things up a little bit here and we're actually gonna start turning the cakes into a baking contest. Contest with myself, but the judge is gonna be Hannah. She'll be grading each of my cakes for the rest of the time on appearance slash presentation and flavor. So far, cake one didn't get a very good grade, but I think I can improve across the next 30 days. So tonight I'm gonna to be making a bread pudding cake, which I've never made before, and really hoping to get a little higher score today. So I'll show you guys what I make. All right, Hannah, what is my score? Presentation was a two. Two out of 10. Two out of 10. The flavor? Yeah. On this sucker? I'm calling it a, I'm calling it a 
left at nine and a quarter. What? <laughs> nine and a quarter. Wow, okay. All right, folks, we're on to day five of the 30 days, and we're on to cake number three. That's right, I'm not cutting it easy. I mean, a lot of cake. Now, today is actually Hannah's birthday, so I'm doing a special cake for her. She's having a shower, so she doesn't know. It's a chocolate molten lava cake. Honestly, this thing is scaring me. Hopefully, it comes out okay. It seems very daunting to make a lava cake, but who knows? I didn't, only made one cake before I started this 30 day challenge and uh, we'll see what happens. Nothing special. Okay. I gave you four and a half. All right, today is day seven of the 30 days and we're on to cake number four. Today I'm gonna to be making a carrot cake. This is one of my absolute favorite cakes. So definitely excited to see how this turns out. Hopefully it's gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna be making the actual base, the frosting, everything. So let's get into it. It's very airy. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. You should have gotten some clothes. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, I 
would. <laughs> no, put it back, put it back, put it back. I need to pay this. <laughs> I died. Oh my god. So Sam cut a piece for Hannah. And I was cutting a piece for Sam. <laughs> and why does he choose these small fools? Like are you serious right now? This is not a joke. Yep. This is like seriously his portion size. At the beginning I would have said like the first bite is pretty good, but as I keep eating, <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you a four and a half. <laughs> Rude. We're on the cake number five. Today is day ten, crushing this journey so far, and now we're on to the most. <laughs> <laughs> Rod to the most amazing chocolate cake. Special request from Hannah and Julia. I've got two judges tonight, so let's see how it turns out. Oh, dear. Was that a real statement, Hannah? Yeah. For your husband. Very cute. Oh. You're in the living room. Fuck me. Why? What could you? Ruby grapefruit juice. Look all the roots. Ruby. Have you ever? <laughs> Three? <laughs> you know what? Four. That, it's a three, but you're being very sweet, so you get a four. Okay. <laughs> Give her a taste. It's the most amazing chocolate bun cake ever. Sam. Mm -hmm. For the recipe. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you a 9.75. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it better than bread pudding? Yeah. I was gonna go with an eight. <laughs> Ron day 13 of 30 days of cake, and I'm now gonna be making cake number six, which is a pumpkin cake. Special request from Hannah. Never had this cake, never knew this cake existed. Excited to eat it. Right here, same thing. You just shoved a big piece in there, though. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm gonna crank it up high. This cake is probably gonna taste better because, I mean, you gotta start mixing it. Good job, honey. Which 
Um, I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> you try. Well, I really like the texture of this cake. It's like heavier. Yeah, I like that. I would rate this an 8 out of 10 well, flavor wise. I'm not a huge like pumpkin person, but. Why'd you make this cake then? I don't you even wanted like pumpkin. it. You asked for it. Good job. Obviously, presentation. Not great, but I give an overall seven out of ten. This is the seventh cake for the 30 days, and it's gonna be a special upside down banana cake as upon request from Hannah. So um, I think I'm gonna nail this one, but we'll see. Never had it before. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Today is day 20 of the 30 days. We've got a special cake coming tonight. I'm getting a little sick and tired of baking so much. Enjoying eating the cake, but all the time baking is getting a little bit frustrating. It's 8.15, so let's get this baked and tasted. My favorite cake yet. I'd give it 9 out of 10. Okay, in all seriousness, <laughs> you can go and check out <laughs> all, all your baking needs at Spinelli Baker Boy on Instagram. <laughs> all right, back to tonight's content. We are going to be making a coffee cake, which is specifically requested by Drew McLaughlin. So Drew, this cake is for you. Let's get a bacon.
cocaine nice syrup. Here. It's syrup. <laughs> syrup. <laughs> a little. Wow. That popped out really well. Yeah, she... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, figure it out, man. I'm gonna start it there. Go down the edge. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just scrape the layer off the wall. It's crumbly. Fluffy. Um, if I'm speaking honestly to one another. <laughs> yes, please speak honestly. Give us an update. The top is kind of salty. Did you, salty put, did you put zero salt? salt in that? Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sure there's zero salt. <laughs> okay, if you could see what he's doing right now. <laughs> okay, well, it tastes salty. And quite frankly, the middle bit tastes like nothing. <laughs> Cinnamon, brown sugar. No, like the center, like none of this tastes like anything. It doesn't taste like anything, <laughs> literally nothing. And tell me if this tastes like salt or not. <laughs> There's no salt in it. <laughs> oh, thank you. There's literally zero salt. <laughs> Pleasing, I'll take it. Okay, you ready to try it? I think you've done a great job. <clears throat> you want me to feed it to you? No, no, please. Oh, you want me to record it? No. This is recording. Are you serious? the verdict oh she's going back for more it can't be awful it's very moist good um i hate your icing really? it tastes like salt it tastes like salt mm -hmm. i don't taste that but i believe you the cake itself uh -huh. <coughs> it is very moist it good? It's a little hard to swallow because it it all kind of clumps into a ball. Okay, that sounds bad. Well, I don't actually hate it. Okay. Taste-wise? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, so what would you rate it from 0 to 10 on taste? Well, honestly, I would give you 
If we were to scratch the icing, mm -hmm. I would give you a very high score. But what really sucks is that in the middle, you've <laughs> layered it with this <laughs> icing, and now I have to eat around it, and quite frankly, that's an inconvenience, so you lost a point. I guess, what I guess? I'll give you an eight. Okay, and then aesthetically? Aesthetically? I love it. Okay, so what's my overall score? Oh. Um, overall, I'll give you, I'm gonna give you a seven. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, that's my highest overall score for you, for anything that's got icing. We're on to the last cake in the series and this is gonna be a special one for Hannah and it's gonna be a coconut cake. So, I'll put my apron on, let's get bacon. Salmon. What is the right height for this? Definitely not there. It's not even covering your nips. Oh, it is. Right here. <laughs> Saucy lady in the kitchen. <laughs> is it? 